Guys Game kicking off Halloween or October with another review. And I picked this up. Oh yeah. Another gigantic box by Animal Planet and Chapman, as you can see. Gonna be reviewing the Mega Dino Research Center by Animal Planet. The packaging on this box is uh it's green. When the other ones have been uh, orange, I'm pretty sure. But uh, the packaging is green on this one. It comes with a Dilophosaurus truck and a research station helicopter and four people, a Velociraptor and two hatchling egg thingamabobbers and a few ha two eggs and four hatchlings. My bad. And some gear and stuff and some fences. Uh, I want to say this. It looks really similar to the Jurassic Park Series One Command Compound. You guys know what I'm talking about. This looks really similar to that, but just a Chat May version. But as you know, I am a fan of Chat May, so I'm pretty excited. Ceratosaurus, I think, or Allosaurus. I don't know what that is. Because uh, each box comes with these. This was from the Mega Dino Adventure Mountain thing. Spinosaurus. Allosaurus. That was from the Extreme Dino Excursion. And this is from the Mega T-Rex set, the T-Rex with the Papo Rex. I'm probably just going to throw those out, but I just wanted to cut those out to show you guys, even a little bit closer to look at those. Uh, Alrighty. Again, just like the other Animal Planet sets, this box is ginormous. It's huge. Use the back of the box, a Toys R Us exclusive. I don't think this set's available at Toys R Us anymore. Some pretty cool artwork, almost like a Jurassic Parkish sunset. Vehicle. Yeah, uh, I know most of my other Chatmay figures, I haven't really been, uh, I said, I am a fan, but, like, this set, I am really excited for, because it looks like it comes with a lot of cool and neat stuff. And then you got the same dinosaur down here, that was on the Extreme Dino Excursion set, but instead of this time being an Allosaurus, it says it's a Dilophosaurus. Kind of strange, but here's like the other cards. So I guess that's the Allosaurus and that's the Dilophosaurus. So on the Dino Excursion set, they had the Dilophosaurus instead of the Allosaurus. Weird. But, yes. More of the box. Dinosaurs have escaped the compound and chaos has ensued. Your special mission to capture them and restore safety and order. Are you up to the challenge or will you become the hungry Dilophosaurus' next meal? And like all the other Animal Planet figures and stuff, uh, it's got a lot of text on the back because it's in uh, three different languages, so yeah. Oop, I'm going to start unboxing this and get everything out of the box so you guys can all uh, can see what comes inside this beastly package. That is gigantic. Huge box, huge, huge box. Takes up a lot of shelf room in the store, so uh, give me a sec and I'll start getting all this stuff out. Alright, everything's out of the box, sorry. Like always, just, like I said, a lot of wire ties. Try to save some time, because it would just be boring seeing me do all the wire tie pieces, but let's get this started with what comes in here. You get another one of these weird, awkward grappling claws, like from the other set, uh, the Mega T-Rex set. One of these grappling claws again. Those awkward claws. You get this 50 cal machine gun that you can mount anywhere, I'm guessing, on any of the vehicles or something. Kind of cool because it's almost the same as the one that came on that uh, vehicle from the Spinosaurus set, but it's got a little bit more detail if you can kind of see. You can like, see the bullets in it. It's got a little bit more of like a grayish gunmetal paint job on it, if you can see. A little bit more detail. This side's still basically all black like the other one was, but a little bit more detail on that side, so it's kind of cool. Chat May stepping up their game. Comes with this little egg. Oops. Comes with this egg that you can close and put together and stuff. You can put a dinosaur inside this when you close it if you want. It'll look like a hatchling inside. And these are the four dinosaur small hatchlings. Stegosaurus. Uh, I'm guessing it's a Parasaurolophus baby, or some form of that, kind of duck build dinosaur. Mm, the T-Rex actually looks like that safari 
baby T-Rex, just in an even smaller, cheaper form. Pretty cool little hatchlings for what they are, I mean, nothing crazy, they're just little babies and you get a triceratops. Nothing crazy, but uh, I wish they kind of could have done a little bit better paint job and just instead of making them like uh, all this gray color, but it comes with that and the egg, you can put any one of them in the egg, kind of cool. You get your Jurassic Park 3 Camo Extreme uh, Arctic Velociraptor. <laughs> Same thing as the other thing. Chomp, 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 chomp. Pretty cool little paint job. I mean, it's almost like the Camo Extreme Jurassic Park 3 line. It reminds me of like, the Arctic T Rex. This is the Arctic Raptor. Unreleased. <laughs> kind of cool, just like the other Raptor. Packaging in this set was a lot better than the other set. His legs aren't warped. Like the other one was. The other one was like, the legs were like wire tied like that. This one they weren't, so. He can pretty much stand by himself, which is a lot better than the other one. Cool little rapid you get. You get these four characters. You get Master Chief. You get two of him. There's another one on the car right here. You get two Master Chiefs. Looks like the damn helmet from Halo. Pretty cool looking though. Two Master Chiefs. You got a Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> and then this guy. I don't even know what to call him. But yeah, you got this other guy. Kind of cool. These four little figures for the base or the research station. Oops. And here's the vehicle. Almost looks just like the Jeep from that other set. It just has a different top on it. But it's basically almost the same bottom piece for this Jeep. Not the red, like this gray piece is almost like the same Jeep or whatever. It's got a snare and a machine gun on the back, so when you're capturing dinosaurs, you can blow them away. But yeah, the snare can uh, come off this little piece on the car, which is in the passenger side window, pretty much. But it can come off and can go anyway. It's kind of cool. It can move. Snag some dinosaurs if you want. And then I lift it up or do whatever. And yeah, I mean, I'm not a professional snagger, but you can snag the dinosaurs just like almost a Lost World status with this. And or the Bush Devil Tracker from Series 1. Kind of cool. This, uh, to get the figures in and out of this vehicle, you can open it. It's the inside. Looks just basically like I said, the other Jeep from the other set just has like a different body style top, protective cage thing on the top. Cool little vehicle, armored truck thing. Cool little armored truck that just snaps back down in, and it's basically good. But yeah, that's this little vehicle. It's a cool little vehicle. Just like the other one was. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. Oh, those are lights, I guess. You get a helicopter. Very, uh, Jurassic Park 3 almost, besides these giant missiles or nukes that this thing has on the side of it. But it almost reminds me of the Jurassic Park 3 helicopter. Oh, I guess those come out. Those bombs, missiles, whatever those are, they pop out and pop. Back in there. I'm not gonna try to force that now. I'll, I'll get it back in later, but these open. I don't think there's uh anything you can do to no, that doesn't turn. I didn't know if there was like a thing, like the same mech cannon mechanism that was on the Jurassic Park 3 one that would make this spin, so I guess there's no way to make that spin, it just spins itself. Pretty cool little helicopter. I mean, nothing insane here. Here's the main dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus that comes with this. He is, uh, insanely oversized for a Dilophosaurus, if you couldn't tell. And when I mean insanely oversized, here's the Spinosaur from the... Dino Adventure Mountain set, and he basically 
rivals, if not beats the Spinosaur in size. <laughs> he even has a spine on him, but it's pretty crazy. He's like the same size as a Spinosaur. I sure would be crapping my pants if there was a Dilophosaurus this tall. <laughs> These same things, which are also on a kind of on a thing, so they move. His arms can move a little bit, not 360, but they can move a little bit. But uh, he's got a trigger, just like the T-Rex on the Mega Set. Pull this back, and it makes pr pretty cool sound. Not the Godzilla sound, too. Pretty s cool sounds it makes. I mean, I'm not sure. I've never heard those sounds before, but... And I like how these things flap forward and can flap back, like pretty sweet. His jaw can like actually almost close. Overall, the cool dinosaur. I mean, other other than him being extremely oversized, and what a Dilophosaurus actually is. I mean, he's pretty pretty cool. Got an all right paint job, but I mean, the green to me doesn't really go all too much, but it is kind of neat looking. That's the dial electronic dial off source that comes with the set. And the other main part of this set, which is really cool, and another basic reason I bought it was... This is basically like the Jurassic Park Series 1 command compound almost. It's fairly big. Control station. You get this. It goes up. It goes down. You can control that from the inside right here. It's hollow, like all the other Chatmay stuff you'd expect. This opens. Maybe that just gets pushed out, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> A little rough, but yeah. Gets pushed out and then you can drive your cars through. Shuts. Nothing really holds that. And yeah. Got this gun on top up here. It's on a swivel. Comes with this bullet. Almost looks like the grappling hook dress part three thing that was also in this set and the other set, but push that in. The gun doesn't really aim down that much, so I'm gonna have to. Again, you can't. It's not crazy. You can't shoot it too too far, but you get all right distance with it. You have this little tower piece up here with. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I think it's a light or something. It doesn't really do much. It just turns. That's all it can really do. And then you have a ladder and the helipad top so the helicopter can land. Not a lot of room for the helicopter up here though, but I guess it's supposed to land up there. So far definitely one of the better chap may sets I'd say. I mean this one I feel like uh might get the awesome seal of approval. I mean I'm still kind of on the fence but like I really like this set. It's cool. Reminds me a lot of the other uh, Jurassic Park Series 1 Command Compound. It comes with six pieces of fences and he's going here to help the fence pieces stand, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'll put it on this one. But the fence pieces all pluck on pretty easily. Just clips on, clips on the bottom clips on there. And then you can basically rotate it and do whatever. You can make a little pen out of four pieces. Make a little pen for whatever. Your raptor, whatever. And put whatever in there. I mean, you get six pieces. You can also hook on to this. The main base piece, and you can build off that too. I mean, it would be cool if it came with even more of these, because you could actually like build off and do whatever you wanted with it. But yeah, it's just like the command compound, it's got two latches for the fences to go on that side, and two latches for the stuff to go on the other side. Another little 
thing on this elevator. I don't think that's supposed to do anything or whatever, but, but yeah, I mean, overall, this is probably the best chat, well not the best, but my favorite out of all the chat maze sets I've looked at so far. This one's probably number one, I'd say. I mean, reminds me a lot of, like I said, the Series 1 Command Compound, which is a plus. So yeah, everyone, overall, uh, a really great set by Chatmay, I'm actually going to say. I mean, it does have its flaws like all the other Chatmay sets do, but out of all the Chatmay sets, this one's probably my favorite, because, like, just a really cool playset with an awesome Dilophosaurus, other than it being oversized, an OK Raptor, a cool vehicle, and a really kick-ass base with a front door. So, I mean, as always, if you're into Chatmay, give this a look. I'm not even sure if the set's still being made, so it might be a little bit harder to track down now unless Chat May does a re-release of it, but uh, yeah, if you definitely come across it, do not hesitate to pick it up. <laughs> do not hesitate to pick this up. You will not be sorry. But uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, let me know what you think of this set if you have it, or if you're looking for it. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of cool more videos on the way for this Halloween, October, so uh, rate Comment, <laughs> rate, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll uh, see you in the next video.